Hi, my talk is about pre-aspiration. Uh, pre-aspiration is, uh, to me at least, a very interesting linguistic phenomenon. Uh, it refers to when um, we have a sequence of sonorants, typically vowels, uh, and uh, phonetically voiceless obstruents, such as pitaka or fithesisha or ch. Um, and in between these two, we can get uh, a period of primarily glottal friction, so that if I said the word um, cat with pre-aspiration, and I'm going to exaggerate it right now, it would be something like cat. Um, so, so this is the thing that my talk uh, is about. And more specifically, across the languages of the world, we know surprisingly little about pre-aspiration. Um, so throughout my work, I've been trying to document what conditions variation in this phenomenon in terms of the structural properties of, of language and speech, but also in terms of the social factors. And in this, uh, in this interspeech talk, I'm focusing on Welsh English uh, in particular, uh, so English spoken in Wales. And the primary question is uh, how widespread it is uh, in Wales, because there have been some uh, reports of it in different parts of Wales, in either Welsh or English. Uh, and so what I find is that in all of the many different locations within Wales, all of the speakers uh, do produce pre-aspiration. So it seems to be it seems to be a really widespread phenomenon uh, when looking at least uh, within Wales. Uh, then I had some secondary questions as well, which which looked into um, some of the social factors that we might want to consider, such as age and uh, gender and region, and the number of Welsh speaking population within each region, and whether or not um, the speakers themselves uh, spoke uh, any Welsh. So more specifically, and I think this is actually the coolest um, finding of, of this work, uh, I looked at uh, whether there are differences in uh, L1 uh, Welsh speakers who speak English um, as opposed to um, people who speak English uh, and who also speak Welsh, uh, but Welsh is not their mother tongue. And in the third group, I had uh, L1 English speakers who are Welsh, but they don't have any Welsh. They don't speak any Welsh. And the last group pre-aspirates less, less frequently and with shorter pre-aspiration. And so I suggest that pre-aspiration might function to cue um, ethnicity-related um, um, features of identity. Um, and th there's some more cool stuff uh, that I looked into, more specifically to do with the relationship between pre-aspiration and glottalization. But I think I'm getting close to the three minutes. So if this sounds interesting, I hope uh, you come to my talk.